Are you ready for spring? I know yes. I am. Just 23 <laughs> days until spring officially arrives. But you know, it always feels like spring at the Pittsburgh Garden Show. Two full floors of the convention center are filled with flowers and pools, landscaping ideas, outdoor living spaces, all to get you ready for warmer, sunnier days ahead. And once again, PTL will be coming to you live from the Home and Garden Show at a remote set that's starting this Friday ah! and then every every day through March 8th. And be sure to watch us uh, for all of that as we show you all there is to see and do at this year's Home and Garden Show. I'm so excited, I couldn't help screaming. Sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another way you can get your flower fix at the Orchid Society Western Pennsylvania Spring Show. The show is in a new location this year. Demetria Marsh and Tim Choco of the Orchid Society are here to tell us about that and to share some tips from the pros on how to keep our orchids growing. For people like David especially because he's Said that if he looks at an orchid, <laughs> he kills it. So I'm sorry in advance for all of your beautiful flowers well, here. That's all right. They're tougher than you think. It really? <laughs> Just a few seconds of your stare should be okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> They're safe. Well, tell us the top tips maybe on how to keep them alive, because that seems to be where I fall down. Someone gives me an orchid as a gift. It's a wonderful gift, and then it starts losing petals. It starts, you know, it it droops. What 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 am I doing wrong? Well, the first thing is that the flowers are going to fall. Uh, when you get them in flower, they've probably uh, been in flower for a couple weeks or so okay. ahead of time. And the, the flower life is about three weeks to a month, month maybe five weeks. So by the time you get them, they're, they're towards probably the end of their they're towards the end of their life. So uh, yeah, this one in particular you know, has a couple more buds left on the end. When you pick one, you want to get one that has a few more buds left uh, that prolongs the, the flowering period. But to keep the plant alive, right. um, you have to know that orchids really normally are in some kind of bark mix or even sphagnum moss. And when you put water in the top, it comes right out the bottom. So um, the best thing to do is to take it to a sink and really water it, let it drain, and then take it back to a windowsill or someplace close to light. Yeah. Um, they do need light. So these three are the easiest kinds to grow. Phalaenopsis um, or the moth orchid or the pouched ones, the lady slippers. And they just, they do really well in eastern light, western life, north if you have really big windows. So they're the lower light of all of these and they're pretty easy. Uh, maybe water them twice a week. And twice a week? Yeah, yes. oh, and that's different. That might be where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, and you said you, the ice cube trick is no good. Yeah, if you do the ice cube trick, um, it's if you're not watering it enough, this really needs a good soaking. They need uh, the 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 keywords are evenly moist. Um, you can usually tell when you really water it well. You can tell by the weight, weight of, of the pot if it's really really uh, light. You're, it's not getting enough. It's not water. getting enough. Well, tell us about the show because the location is different mm -hmm. this year too, right? right. Well, um, the great news is the Phipps Garden Center is about to be renovated, so we weren't sure when that was going to start. Mm -hmm. So we are grateful to Phipps for providing some of these orchids, but also for letting us know. So we decided to move our show this year. And a wonderful um, organization, Artsmiths of Pittsburgh, which is, it looks to me like it's Banksville Road, but at that point it's really McFarland, right by Beverly. Oh, yeah, I know exactly it's, what you mean. It's mm -hmm. a great um, organization that gives classes for artists, but also gives them a place to sell their things. They have opened up their whole space to us for our show, which is St. Patrick's Day weekend. It's free. Uh, we have educational classes. We have vendors from the whole eastern seaboard. We have um, a repotting table for people who yep. want to repot their orchids mm -hmm. but are afraid. Five dollars. <laughs> you, right. you bring in, you bring in a, your uh, four-inch pot and it's five dollars and you don't ever have to do anything again. Oh. And the most amazing thing is you'll have a lot of Orchid Society members who really want to tell you how to grow your orchids. Yeah. Anybody who, <laughs> so have, anybody really who has one of these. Yes. We'll be there to help you. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right, so and that is uh, Saturday, March 16th and Sunday, March 17th. Correct. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on today for being and here. helping David out. Yeah, providing some help for me. <laughs> yes. I want to mention this one more time. The Orchid Society Spring Show is March 16th and 17th at Artsmiths on McFarland Road. That's in Mount Lebanon. Admission and parking is free.